so guys, yesterday we went up to the hill, but it was too dark. I couldn't make any videos because there was nothing visible. And now I left my hotel gonna go other part of the city where I'm gonna see the biggest twin tower in the world. We saw it at night, it was amazing. And now I'm gonna make some videos, some pictures. And then go to some temple sightseeing. I didn't really do sightseeing since I'm here. I visit my friends. And tomorrow I'm going to caves, elephant cave or however they call it. So hot, I can't talk. So I will show you soon the tower and everything that's around. And this is the shopping mall. So guys, look how third world country is looking like. Somewhere there, behind these crazy buildings, is the highest, is the highest twin buildings in the world. Before Burj Khalifa, it was this building, and then Dubai built Burj Khalifa, and then this building becomes second. Here you don't see building yet here. But I will show it to you soon. This is just surrounding. I have been walking 35 minutes. I'm dying literally with my backpack. But we're getting there. So guys, look at this. Oh my god. This is not Dubai. This is not Saudi Arabia. This is just Malaysia, third world country. This is crazy. Look at this building. At night, so at night, sorry, my backpack. Uh, this building shines like a crystal. We saw it yesterday, it's like crystal, diamond. It's crazy. Look, that's the uh, first. Tallest building, twin building in the world. Perfect. So, if you ask me what's inside of Twin Tower, not much, it's just shopping malls everywhere. Twin Tower, some hotels, some activities, and it's only uh, fancy shopping malls like Saint Laurent, Prada, and so on. That's all. Um, now I'm gonna see in front of Tower the famous uh, KL Park. So because it was Kuala Lumpur, they shorten it and they call it KL. That's uh, here in front of Tower. There's nothing much to do here. I'm gonna have some food. Uh, some food. I really miss uh, European food. I wouldn't say European, but there's Ljubljana bread, like you know, meat. I'm not a huge fan of Asian food at all. And here is park. That's all. This is your twin tower. So famous park. Everyone comes just to chill here. That's all guys. So guys, I came to eat. I don't know what this is. I just ordered from menu. Let's see the taste. So are you ready to see what is that? After frog legs I had Spicy, but good. And then I'm gonna have their traditional food, which they eat for breakfast. It's rice with chicken. And, and we will see how is the their traditional Malaysian food. And guys, this is very traditional the local food. It doesn't look good, but it tastes okay. Just to know. 
So guys, I came to the Chinatown in the middle of Kuala Lumpur. I think it's a temple, I don't know. But I don't think I want to go inside because I'm going to the biggest temple. I don't want to lose time. It's crazy raining here. I got my umbrella. And this is temple. But inside, I don't know, I'm not sure if I want to go inside. Because then you have to take out your shoes. Maybe I will. Let me see. This is crazy inside. Okay, let me go inside. Okay. I changed my mind. I didn't go inside because I don't want to take my shoes out. I have last clean socks left. But in the big temple, I will do that. So now exploring the rest of Chinatown. It's just restaurants, nothing here actually. Uh, I think I should move. So this is the restaurant, you pay 2 euros, he has a book. Yeah, I don't know how hygienic is this, but as you see people come and eat. If it will be in Africa, I will eat it, but in China I'm not sure. So guys, this is the Chinese quarter or whatever they call it. Let me go in and show you. So all kinds of shops, bags, Gucci, <laughs> Vuitton, whatever you want, everything is here. It's crazy. Small China in Malaysia. So guys, if you want some brand shoes for a cheap price, hit me up. So the streets are endless, guys, endless. I want to leave, so take cab to the temple, but I can't find the exit. I'm kind of stuck here. Look at this. It's Muslim country, you see. First time I hear pray here because it's Muslim quarter. Crazy. Okay. Now I order taxi. I go to temple. I can't listen to this. Oh. Guys, so look at this. Wow. This is mind blowing. What is this? This looks like a carton. It doesn't look like even. Oh my god. It doesn't even look like the real, real life. It's crazy. I love it. I love it. So, guys, this is the inside of the temple. Look at this. This is amazing, no? I love it. So nice. So guys, let's see. It's closed. I don't know actually how it opens or where is the inside. Okay. This crazy temple. Let me try other side. I don't know how actually to get in. This way to temple, second floor it says. Let's go and see. So, my, my outfit doesn't actually match to this place. But, wow. It's crazy, guys, it's crazy. Someone is getting married. You see, they make pictures here. Wow. I am amazed. I am literally amazed. Okay. You need to take your shoes out in order to get in the side of temple, by the way. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because I have been in so many temples in, um, in India. You see people have that shoes, 
and it's checked out. This is temple entrance. Actually, I went inside of temple, took my shoes out, so just to show you how it looks. Look at this. Wow. Okay guys, I think there's one more floor to go up to see temple. Oh, look at this, so nice. I will see you on the upper part, then go back to the hotel, do some last sightseeing, and after that, bed and sleep. Because tomorrow is my last day. Wow, the view is nice. And then I am going back to Berlin. That's all. Enough for today. So guys, that's all. This day is over. My energy is over, Kuala Lumpur is over, I am done in this city, I am done in this part. Tomorrow just we're gonna go to caves, see caves and then what after you know? that Malaysia is. So, good night.